Meryl Streep, Kate Blanchett, Diane Sawyer, and her director husband, Mike Nichols. You could see the pain in the faces of the mourners today as they said goodbye to Oscar winner Philip Seymour Hoffman. Also attending Spike Lee, Michelle Williams, and Hoffman's longtime partner, Mimi O'Donnell, holding their children close. Security was tight and attendees told me that the service was heart-wrenching. The Oscar winner, of course, will be forever linked on screen to the actors who were here to pay their respects. Amy Adams and Meryl Streep, who were both here, starred with Hoffman in doubt. What are you doing in this school? I'm trying to do good. Ethan Hawke was one of the first to arrive. He co-starred with Hoffman and Before the Devil Knows You're Dead, the same movie where Hoffman played a heroin addict. You don't think so? I don't think so, no! No, I didn't! I God did damn it, you think? Joaquin Phoenix also paid his respects. He worked with Hoffman on The Master. I know you're trying to calm me down, but just say something that's true! We also saw Julianne Moore, who worked with the actor on Boogie Nights and Magnolia. Tell him, it's okay. I'm okay. Also here to pay his last respects, David Barr Katz, the actor's very good friend, who found his body on Sunday morning. He had received a text from Hoffman the night he died, asking him to come over and watch basketball, but he didn't receive it until it was too late. There's a larger public memorial planned for the Oscar winner later this month. Next, Hoffman on rehab. Why did you decide to stop? You panicked. He had panicked. It was, um, I was 22 and I got panicked for my life. You're watching unaired footage from Hoffman's revealing sit down with 60 Minutes in 2006 with Steve Croft. You know, we knew we had all this material, so we went back and we looked at all of it again. Whatever I was doing made me worry uh, if I was going to be able to do the things I wanted to do with my life. CBS will broadcast a re-edited version of their story on Sunday night. Croft says he'll think of Hoffman for his life on the big screen. I think I'll remember him mostly through the roles. He was such a great character actor. And there wasn't anything that he did that, that wasn't memorable. And in lieu of flowers, Hoffman's family has requested that donations be made in his name to the Dream Yard Project and the Christopher and Dana Reed Foundation.